What's going on, everybody? All glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the author and finisher of our faith, the manufacturer of our DNA. And without him, nothing is possible. Welcome to Faiths and Gates Ministries. Click that subscribe button. Click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, responding to your comments, I apologize for the comments that I was unable to get to the last few months. Okay, we had a lot of content that we released in the month of April and the month of May thus far. So I'm going to read some of these comments and uh, give my response to it. If you can, share these videos as well. Let me know your thoughts. I try to be very diplomatic in my response to the comments. Nevertheless, there are some comments that I do delete if I feel or if I determine that these comments are contrary to the beliefs that I share in these videos. Okay, I'm not one who's trying to publish um, belief on this channel, but if there anyone who does not believe as I do, I am willing to have a conversation, but people who are just coming on here and just posting things just to be a troll. Okay. I have no tolerance for that. Okay. But I do value whatever you have to share. If it will be beneficial to what we discuss on a normal basis in this channel. Okay, I hope I've made that clear. So the first comment is from user WV3RS, who says he, speaking about Geno Jennings, he reads from the Bible, how can the Bible be wrong and you be right? Who do you speak for, Satan? <laughs> uh Lord, help me. Okay. First of all, it's very vague. Okay. The things that Gene O'Jennings is right about, I've mentioned in numerous videos. I haven't said that he's wrong about everything, but the things that he is wrong about, I've outlined that in a number of videos. First of all, he's not an apostle. Okay. The apostles were given a specific mission by God during that time to be the foundation for the church. Okay, they were men condemned to death by God. A lot of these men were killed by the sword. They were left to rot in prison until they died. Men like John the Revelator, who was a 90-year-old man on the island of Patmos, and that was where he died. OK, the way he was ministering the gospel, many of the apostles was through writing letters to the church. OK, they were not out here with a three piece suit on building their own brand. OK, but when you talk to people like this person who left this comment, they are of Satan because they're idolaters. OK, they worship this man. Geno Genesis is on record stating that he's done more works than the son of God, Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ, who his greatest work was dying on the cross for our sins, coming in the flesh, incarnated in flesh, God in the flesh, coming to humble himself as a man. Okay, do you have any idea? This is God that we're talking about. Never committed a sin, never said a mumbling word, OK, this is in addition to all the miracles that he did, which the scriptures say the books could not contain all that he has done. OK, and Geno Jennings said because he's baptized more people than Jesus and he's been preaching longer than Jesus, that he's done more works than the son of God. OK, and you telling me that I'm of Satan just because he's preaching from the Bible. Satan preaches from the Bible. Okay, Satan knows the word better than Geno Jennings, better than me, better than any human being. Okay, just because he's preaching from the Bible doesn't mean he's a man of God. Definitely does not mean he's an apostle because he is not. Apostles 
were homeless, they were poorly clothed, they hungered and thirst. An apostle on a routine basis went on a 40 day fast. So I know in this modern day church era, especially the mega church, we think that it's common for a pastor to be in the presence of multitudes of people. That's not the way, when I read these scriptures, the apostles spent most of their life in prison or in isolation somewhere, fasting and praying before God. Okay, again, they were men condemned to death. So because of the anointing that was on an apostle was so great by the most high, they had to be in a humble state. Like Apostle Paul said, men were lifting them up, lifting him and Barnabas up, saying who's greater between because that anointing was so great. God had to humble them lest carnal men would make an idol of them. Geno Genesis made an idol of himself. Not only that, he does not believe that Jesus Christ is God. I've talked about this in numerous videos and I've broken down the Bible. You asking me, what, who do I speak for? Now I'm reading from the Bible. I'm read, I've listed the scriptures that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. He time traveled. He's the last Adam. God was able to insert himself in the time and space continuum. When you speak about prophecy, prophe prophecy is something that's to come. So God who sits outside of time, how is he able to do it? Okay, that's a miracle. He's God. That's all I was saying. But Gino is saying that this body has returned back to dust. Christ, his earthly body was glorified. Because Gino was steadfast saying that 1 Corinthians 15, 15, I believe, which says flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Gino Jennings is applying that to Christ. That's not what the word says. Christ transfigured before uh, Peter and John, where Moses and Elijah appeared before Christ. Christ had already prayed to God, Father, glorify me, glorify thy son, that thy son might glorify thee. A regular man can't pray that to God. So he transfigured. The disciples were able to see him in his glorified body. Now, this was before he died and rose again. When he died and rose again, that was likened to the transfiguration. That's different from a resurrected body. Okay. Sinful men like myself need a resurrected body. This earth shell goes back to the dirt, even if you live to see the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, which I pray that, that I'm blessed to see that, okay, this body still got to go back to the dust. Then he's going to raise the dead in Christ will be raised as the scriptures state. Even those people who live to the day where Christ cracked them skies open, okay, but Jesus Christ being God and being without sin, that is what permitted him to return back to heaven in his earthly body. That earthly body was just glorified. Geno Genes don't have this understanding. There are many other doctrines that he teaches that is false. Um, from my understanding, he's saying that if you've been divorced, even if the other person initiated the divorce, that you can't get remarried. That's a false doctrine. The scriptures state, if the unbeliever wishes to leave, let them leave. Such person is not under bondage in such cases. Okay. Geno Jennings also talks about baptism, water baptism. You don't need to be water baptized to be saved. 
he talks about the 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 uh fallen angels. He don't believe that fallen angels trans transgressed against God by sleeping with the daughters of men. Yes, they did. Okay, currently I'm in the midst of a series. Polygyny is a package deal where I go into detail talking about this. Okay, how did sin get into man? The scriptures say in the book of Genesis, everything God made was good. I understand Adam disobeyed God. Okay, but what was it that happened to him in particular? What is it that happened to Eve to cause that death to come inside of her, that blood flow of impurity? Okay, I don't have time to get into that right now. Um, but there's a there's about nine false doctrines that Geno Genesis teaches. So he's the one that's of Satan. Okay. Now B Ro Ro 6821 says Geno Jennings and his followers are some of the biggest hypocrites that I have ever seen. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I agree with that. I agree with that. Again, it's just man worship. Okay. They're just worshiping a man, just bobbing their head to everything you say. They don't take the time to read the scriptures to rightly divide the word of truth. It's nothing wrong with that. As, as someone who's attending the church, okay, paying tithes to a pet, that's another false doctrine that he teaches. He don't touch on that a lot. He just he's touched on it maybe once or twice that I can recall that's documented in videos that he's released. OK, but he does collect a tithe and that's not biblical. A pastor is not supposed to be collecting 10 percent. A pastor can announce that he's collecting an offering. OK, give and it shall be given unto you. Press down shaking together, running over, shall men give back into your bosom. Okay, there's nothing wrong with a pastor preaching that. He's just making it clear to the members that you don't have an obligation to give. Okay, that's different. But you give whatever the Lord presses on your heart or you, God loves a cheerful giver, scriptures like that. It's nothing wrong with a pastor preaching that he can preach that all day, long as he's adding the truth in there with the scriptures. He's talking to them about hell. He's talking to them about repentance, the blood of Jesus and so forth. I mean, you don't preach about money all day, but preaching that a person has to give 10% of their earnings every week is a false doctrine. Okay. That was under the law of Moses with the Levitical priesthood. Okay, so yeah, they're some of the biggest hypocrites because they don't read the scriptures for themselves. A lot, a lot of false prophets these days are preaching from like one fourth of the Bible. Okay, they don't preach from the entire Bible. All right, they don't preach about the judgment that's coming upon the Gentiles. That's another thing. Geno Jen is a false doctrine that he omits. Okay. He's just very vague saying, okay, black people is just like the devil, just like white people had the devil. And that's a false doctrine. There are some sins that are trademarked in this bloodline. Talking about the sins of the father. I've talked about this recently. Deuteronomy chapter five, verse nine, the sins of the father passed down to the son, down to the third and fourth generations. All right. So when the children don't repent of the sin, it keeps going down, perpetuating through the generations. That third and fourth generation turns into 15, 17 generations because the succeeding generations never repented of the same sin that was like 10 generations ago. You see what I'm saying? He don't go deep into that. My sin is not your sin. Okay. We, 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 
All people are not the same. All men were not created equal, all right? There are some peculiar curses that are in this bloodline, okay? Different bloodlines. So let's go to the next uh, comment here. Geneva Strayhorn says, some of you people who want a podcast are so envious of Pastor Jennings, a true man of God who goes to Bible to prove God's word is truth. See, <laughs> look at this devil. I love laughing at this devil. <laughs> oh, man. And this, again, I've talked about this with Ringo TV and New Breed, many of their supporters say the same thing that, that see the devil is very crafty and playing both sides. He understand that most people are in the flesh. So although the devil uses the word of God very craftily to deceive many, if he's going up against someone who know this word, he's not going to fight too much with the word. He's going to appeal to the flesh because most people look on the outward of man. They looking at what they drive, uh, how much uh, influence they have, not knowing that the devil has more followers than Christ. <laughs> so we're going to look at the body of Christ and look at Jesus Christ himself, who is God, but has less followers than the devil. Are we going to say that, point out a scripture that God says, I'm a jealous God, that now all of a sudden God is envious of the devil? You see that? Does that make any sense? No, this truth cuts. And you're talking about he goes into the word. Well, what about some of those scriptures in the book of Jeremiah, the book of Isaiah, Obadiah, the judgments against Edom? Okay, it takes work for a pastor to comb through those scriptures and preach and be bold enough to preach it in front of the public where Thousands of people are watching, like Geno Jennings' audience, okay? Because stuff like that can really attract that smoke. And as I've said before, he don't want that smoke. So his word is very vague, talking about races of people, we're all the same. Satan ain't fighting you saying that. <laughs> I mean, because there's no truth in that. You're not giving details. There are details into what race is who, okay? What what tribes, there isn't black and white written in the scriptures, okay? There are specific names of these tribes. These people are still here to this day. Jacob and Esau, okay? Let's go to the next question. Robert Dickerson says, Fates and Gates, just wanted to know, are you a Hebrew Israelite or a Christian? Look, I'm a student, disciple, and servant of the Most High Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm striving to enter through the narrow gate and to inherit eternal life. Now, does that take a long time to say? Yes, it does. But that's how I would describe what I am. A student, servant, and disciple of the Most High Jesus Christ, I'm striving to enter through the narrow gate to inherit eternal life. All right? David, why don't you say you're a Christian or a Hebrew Israelite? Look, I know that my lineage is uh, of Jacob. I'm an Israelite, okay? Uh, through um, one of the sons of Abraham. A descendant of Jacob from the tribe of Judah. I know that in the flesh, that's who I am. But I understand that the scriptures say you must be born again or else you can't inherit eternal life. Okay, so you got to be born again on the inside. Your heart has to be changed. I'm not going to say that I'm a Christian because they've already, there's a lot of toxicity in the realm of Christianity. Okay, now they're saying homosexuals are Christians. So I'm not going to let my good be evil spoken of, associating myself, talking about vagueness. I talked about this earlier. 
I'm not going to be vague. When you say that you're a disciple, a student and servant of the most high Jesus Christ, you're saying a lot there. You're letting people know, number one, there's a discipline that comes with this faith. But number two, most importantly, Jesus Christ is God. Okay. Because there are some people who claim to be Christians who do not believe Jesus Christ is God. They just believe he's the son of God. There are some people who are his Hebrew Israelites. Most of them don't believe in hellfire. They don't believe that their demons, the degree of power that demons and fallen angels have. And most of them don't believe that Jesus Christ is God. They believe that he's the son of God. OK, I believe that Jesus Christ is God. So me saying what I said that I am, I'm giving you details. I'm not being vague. All right. So lastly here. Chocolate Creek responded. To Robert Dickerson, I guess she's saying she watched the video and just concluded that I'm a Christian. Uh, no, I just explained exactly what I am. Last question. This is simply love. Said Christ is the son of God, according to Mark 1, verse 1. Look, Jesus Christ is God and the son of God. Only way he's the son of God is because the seed line of man stems back to God who created Adam. That's where the genealogy of man started. Okay, so there are those out there who are saying Joseph is Jesus' father because of the seed. A seed must be produced in order to create a child. Okay, well, you got to trace that seed back to the Most High God who created Adam, who didn't have a mother. His father was God. God, the creator. That's why in the new covenant, it said those who obey God are the sons of God. Okay. And that's how Christ is the son of God, a lamb who was sacrificed for our sake, but he is also God. Hebrews 4.12 says the word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, pierces even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. So Christ pierced to the division of soul and spirit. God was able to be separate from himself in order to redeem man. All right. And I've talked about this. I started a new playlist. Jesus Christ is God. Okay. So go check that out. But that was just me quickly responding to these comments. Let me know your thoughts, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day.